Let's read this problem. Given a string s, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. This problem utilizes the sliding window technique. It is an algorithmic approach used to efficiently solve problems that involve iterating over a data structure in a fixed window. It involves maintaining a window of a certain size that slides or moves through the data structure, one element at a time, to perform operations or extract information. The key idea behind the sliding window technique is to avoid redundant computations by reusing computations from the previous window window as the window moves. Here are some use cases. Let's look at the code. The code starts by initializing variables. Max length is set to 0 to store the maximum length of the substring without repeating characters. Start is set to 0 which represents the starting index of the current substring. Character dictionary is an empty dictionary that will store characters from the string s as keys in their corresponding indices as values. The code then enters a loop that iterates over the string s using the end variable as the current index. The end index represents the ending index of the current substring being examined. Within the loop, the code performs the following steps. Number one, it checks if the character at the index end is already present in the character dictionary. Number two, if the character is found in the character dictionary, it means that it is a repeating character. In this case, we update the start index to the maximum of its current value in the next index of the repeating character in the character dictionary. This ensures that we move the starting index of the current substring to the right of the repeating character, effectively excluding the repeating character from the substring. Three, after updating the start index, the code adds the current character and its index to the character dictionary, or updates its index if the character is already present. Then the code calculates the length of the current substring by subtracting the start index from the end index and adding 1. Finally, the max length variable is updated to store the maximum length encountered so far. After the loop completes, the code returns the max length, which represents the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. Now let's visualize the iterations of the sliding window technique using an example input. Enjoy!